The Virginia Commercial Spaceflight Authority, also known as Virginia Space, was created by the General Assembly of the Commonwealth of Virginia in 1995 to manage, promote, and develop commercial spaceflight activity within the Commonwealth. Virginia Space owns and operates the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport on Wallops Island, Virginia and an office in Norfolk, Virginia. History The General Assembly of the Commonwealth of Virginia created the Virginia Commercial Space Flight Authority in 1995 to promote the development of the commercial space flight industry, economic development, aerospace research, and science, technology, engineering, and math education throughout the Commonwealth. In 1997, Virginia Space entered into a Reimbursable Space Act agreement with NASA, which provided for permitted use of land on NASA Wallops Island for the Mars launch pads. Virginia Space also applied for and was granted an FAA license to launch to orbit. This led to establishment of the Virginia Space Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport Mars, located on the southern portion of NASA Wallops Island. Mars is approved for launch azimuths from 38 to 60 degrees, making it an ideal location from which to launch to the International Space Station ISS. In 2007, NASA selected Virginia-based Orbital Sciences Corporation now Northrop Grumman Innovation Systems to participate in the Commercial Orbital Transportation Services program and then selected Orbital for a follow-on Commercial Resupply Services contract to build and demonstrate a new rocket, Antares, to resupply the ISS. The CRS contract authorized eight missions from 2012 to 2015 carrying approximately 20,000 kg of cargo to ISS as well as disposal of waste. These launches were to take place from the new state-of-the-art Mars Pad 0A. On Mars Pad 0B, VCSFA made modifications and upgrades to launch the NASA Lunar Atmosphere and Dust Environment Explorer mission to the Moon in mid-2013 on a new Orbital Sciences Minotaur V launch vehicle. Also in mid-2013, the USAF launched ORS-3 from Mars Pad 0B. In October 2018, VCSFA entered into an agreement with New Zealand-based Rocket Lab to build a new pad for their Electron rocket. The first launch from this new pad is currently scheduled for the third quarter of 2019. Topic: <laughs> Facilities. The Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport has two active launch pads. A third is actively under construction and is projected to be finished in fall, 2019. Launch Pad 0A LPOA was built for the Conestoga rocket, which made its only flight in 1995. The launch tower was subsequently demolished in September 2008 and has now been rebuilt for use by the Northrop Grumman Innovation Systems Antares. The pad modifications for Antares included the construction of a horizontal integration facility for launcher, payload mating and a wheeled transporter, erector that will roll out and erect the rocket on its launch pad about 24 hours prior to launch. The facility suffered significant damage during the 28 October 2014 Antares launch failure, according to NASA officials in the immediate aftermath. The state of Virginia is seeking help from its two U.S. senators to obtain federal funding for rebuilding the pad. Preliminary estimates for rebuilding the pad indicate the cost should be no more than $20 million. 
By May 2015, that estimate had been revised down to $13 million and repairs were expected to be completed by September or October 2015 with the next planned launch in March 2016. On September 30, 2015, the spaceport announced repairs on Pad 0A had been completed. The launch pad resumed flight operations with the successful Cygnus CRSOA-5 mission on October 17, 2016. Launch pad 0B (LPOB) became operational in 1999 and was subsequently upgraded with the construction of a mobile service tower, which was completed in 2004. It remains active, and is currently used by Minotaur rockets. Additionally, Vector Space Systems announced on October 19, 2017 that their upcoming Vector R rocket will be conducting three launches in the next two years, with an option for five additional launches, from a mobile launcher at Pad 0B. In October 2018, Virginia Space began construction on Mars Pad 0C and an associated integration facility for use by Rocket Lab for their Electron rocket. The first launch from this new pad is currently scheduled for the end of 2019.